Your fifth choice, Sonny? Yeah, I... You know, as I said, I... My first term in Botswana, it was between Easter and summer, and it was a very difficult time, really. Settling into a new school is always very difficult when you're on your own, and it really took me that first term. I've got no recollection of that first term, even today. And there was, I think there was a lot of reason for that, really. We, we hadn't sold a house in Bangor, but my father had a house from his uncle in a little village called Inas, and it was a lovely cottage. We used to go and stay there in the summer, which was fine, but he had no bathroom. The bathroom was outside, and toad standing on your feet when you went out it was a paraffin heater and I still remember this movie. if I smell a paraffin heater mm. now, it still reminds me mm. of the bathroom outside in, in Penn Grislam um, then we sold the house in Bangor and we bought my mother's home from the estates the whole of Tidwilio is mostly owned by the Kevnamul estate by Captain Wynne Finch and it is a massive estate that spreads many, many miles. And they own all the houses apart from, well, there are more that they don't own now than when we first went there. And my father bought the house from them and, of course, did it up. And it was uh, very different. Um, and life was great. And at that time, I had a few interests. And one of the interests I had at that time was with CND and that sort of thing. Mm. And my next song is called Ndewach Nadur, which means thicker than water. So if we hear the song, listen to the words very, very carefully, and I'll explain to you why I think this song is important afterwards. Die Leute, 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 die Leute